Welcome everybody, it's good to see you. Welcome everybody, it's good to see you. Welcome everybody, it's good to see you. Welcome to Messy Church at Home. We'll have lots of fun together today as we hear the Easter story. We'll watch a video and do some Easter crafts and some games. Say hi to us in the comments box so that we know that you're watching and share your photos and your crafts. We'd love to hear from you. Children and adults too, remember. Did you get lots of Easter eggs this morning? Have you eaten lots of chocolate already? Did you go round the garden on an Easter egg hunt? Or maybe in the house? Have you ever wondered why we have eggs at Easter? Last week was Palm Sunday, when Jesus went to Jerusalem on a donkey and crowds cheered Hosanna. They loved Jesus, but things went wrong after that. Some people were jealous of Jesus and they had him arrested. And even though he hadn't done anything wrong, Jesus was nailed to a cross and he died for us. It was part of God's plan. After Jesus died, some of his friends laid his body in a big tomb, like a cave, and they sealed it shut with a huge stone, a round stone, and soldiers guarded the tomb. Three days later, things changed. An angel of the Lord came down from heaven and rolled the stone away. When the soldiers saw the angel, they fell to the ground. Mary was walking to the tomb with some of her friends. They were sad because Jesus had died. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. Jesus is not here. The tomb's empty. He has risen. Go and tell Peter and the other disciples that Jesus is alive. On their way, the women saw Jesus and he told them to tell the others. They were delighted and they ran off to tell the great news that Jesus is alive. And you know, even although we can't see him, Jesus is still alive and with us today. We're going to see a video now that tells us a wee bit more about the story and then we'll move back shortly for some games and some crafts. God's Story, Easter. So part of God's story is about Easter, and it begins like this. You might know Easter as the Sunday a ginormous bunny hides chocolate inside plastic eggs. But Easter is really all about how much Jesus loves us and how God sent him to rescue us. Remember how the Jews, God's special family, were waiting for a king to come rescue them? Well, Jesus was the king, and this rescue was the whole reason he came to earth. God had already rescued the Jews once before, but this time it was going to include everyone. So one night, Jesus told his friends about the rescue. Exciting, right? But talking about this rescue was sad. That's because Jesus was going to rescue the world by dying. Kids, every mean or bad thing we do deserves punishment. By dying, Jesus took our punishment. Lots of things in life have good parts and bad parts. And just like candy bars are mostly good, as long as you brush your teeth after you eat one, this story is a really good one. Anyway, talking about the rescue made Jesus sad since he didn't really want to die. Thankfully, we can talk to God when we're sad, so Jesus took a few friends into a garden to pray. In the garden, a guy named Judas, who people thought was Jesus' friend, came with some people to help arrest Jesus. Peter, one of Jesus' true friends, was so mad he cut off a servant's ear with his sword. But Jesus didn't want his friends to hurt others, so Jesus healed the ear and let them arrest him. Then Jesus was taken to trial. One of the most powerful men in the city, Pontius Pilate, wanted to let Jesus go. But many of the people wanted Jesus to die. They didn't believe he was the Son of God or any kind of king. Even after all the miracles Jesus did, like healing sick people and making blind people see, they didn't believe in him. The people were so mad, they started yelling, kill him! So Pontius Pilate let the soldiers take Jesus. The soldiers made fun of the idea that Jesus was a king. They put a crown of thorns on his head and nailed him to a cross. Many people watched, but not all of them wanted Jesus to die. 
His mother and close friends were there too. Just imagine how they must have felt. Once Jesus was up on the cross, the sun stopped shining for three whole hours in the middle of the day. But those soldiers kept right on making fun of him. They said, if you're really God's son, why don't you just call on some angels to save you? Jesus could have called on angels to save him, but he loved us so much that he wanted to rescue us. So instead, he prayed to God, Father, I place my life into your hands. At that moment, Jesus died. And when he died, the soldiers who had just killed him realized he really was the Son of God. Later, Jesus was put into a tomb and a big rock blocked the entrance. Jesus' friends thought that was the end. But three days later, God sent an angel to roll the stone away. Don't worry, Jesus could get out on his own. The angel moved the rock so everybody else could see the tomb was empty. Jesus' friends were the first to stop by the tomb. The angel said, He has risen! Which is another way of saying, Jesus is alive! Nobody could believe it! Jesus took our punishment and then proved He really is the Son of God by coming back to life. Now, if we choose to follow Jesus, God forgives us for all the wrong things we do because Jesus already took our punishment. And that's the story of Easter. But that's not all there is. Here's a quick version of what happened after the angel told the good news. Jesus' friends got scared. Jesus appeared to them. They saw his scars. It was really him. Now they could share the good news too. Jesus appeared to more than 500 people. He went back up to heaven. And the best part? He promised to come back someday for everybody who follows him. And all that is a part of God's story. Hi, I hope you had fun watching that video. And um, we're going to do some games and some crafts now. Now, I know you'll probably been, have been doing some Easter things already this morning. Many of you may have had little eggs like this that have been hidden about for you. Um, you can always do it again or use little balls or, or something. Um, another idea for an Easter egg hunt is to cut out shapes, something like this that's like an egg, and decorate one side of it. You'll need 12 in total, and then on each of the 12, write one letter from the phrase, Jesus is alive. Um, hide the eggs round about your garden or your house. And once um, you've all taken part in it, you can try and put the word, words in order, Jesus is alive. Um, some craft ideas for you today. I know uh, many of you have already decorated uh, an egg. <laughs> Sorry about that, it was just as well, I boiled it first, so that's a wee reminder, boil your egg before you decorate it. We're looking forward to seeing all your photos, uh, please add them to the, uh, our Facebook as soon as you can. We're looking forward to seeing them. And remember, make another egg that you can roll in the garden. That was the old traditional uh, thing to do Easter, and many people still do it, to roll your egg after you've boiled it, of course. Another um, craft idea is to get a stone. See what you can find lying around. You'll need to give it a good clean first, and then paint it. If you could paint a cross on it and then decorate it and one day when you're out for your walk you could just lay it somewhere or maybe on a neighbour's step and they'll get quite a surprise uh, when they find it and they'll realise that Jesus is alive. We uh, thought you could make some other Easter crafts as well. Maybe here's one that I did, just a wee simple egg shape with some stickers on it. Uh, you could make a poster that says Happy Easter and put it up in your window beside your rainbow and that will help to brighten up somebody's day. And the final suggestion is to cut out a cross from cardboard 
or paper and to decorate that as well. You can keep it with you or you can put it in the window uh, for everybody to see. We hope that you've enjoyed that and you'll have fun with all the Easter crafts and games. Uh, we would love to hear from you, so make sure that you share some photographs with us or just say hi in our comments. So, have fun this Easter, don't eat too much chocolate, and before we go, we'll have our messy church blessing. Remember, God's love is for me, God's love is for you, God's love is faithful, steadfast and true. Welcome everybody, it's good to see you. Welcome everybody.